We're going to start with a model of uh, the uh, intact small intestine. And notice that uh, the large intestine is also on this model. I'm going to open up uh, the model right here uh, to show you what the interior of the small intestine looks like. It's thrown into circular folds called plicae. And uh, these are large. You, of course, you can see them with your eyes. The small intestine is further increased by millions of very tiny microscopic projections called villi. The villi are covered in columnar epithelial cells. When the foodstuffs, the chyme that is coming through the small intestine bumps up against these cells, uh, they are exposed to a large array of digestive enzymes produced by these cells. And remember that the chyme is already mixed with digestive enzymes from the pancreas. Digestion then is completed at the surface and the small products of digestion then are absorbed into these cells and then are going to pass through them and be absorbed into capillary beds or absorbed into a lymphatic capillary called a lacteal. The small products of fat digestion Sugars, simple sugars, and amino acids are absorbed into traditional cardiovascular capillary beds. But the large products of fat digestion must be coated inside of our intestinal cells with a coating of protein and cholesterol. That little packet then passes through and is absorbed into the lacteals. It means that products of fat digestion, the larger ones, uh, travel in lymph for a considerable amount of time before entering into the cardiovascular system. 